r slash ask reddit what is something you would do if society didn't find it cringy make friends the way i did in kindergarten hey i like you earrings want to be be friends sure cool come to my house for a sleepover tonight i've got pizza rolls i do still have pizza rolls i just pair them with red wine why is making adult friends hard when I was in 4th grade I met my best friend by screaming that my middle name and her first name sounded similar. She thought that was really cool and we've been friends since. I really wish it was still that easy. I don't even know how I got my best friend. She just showed up and never left. A while ago, I wanted to volunteer to coach with the local little league. Then I thought, a single childless man wanted to play with little kids probably wasn't a good look. I know a guy who got removed from his position as a volunteer baseball coach at a Christian church after 3 years because they found out he was Mormon. They emailed all the parents and said he had been removed for reasons related to his past and apologized for ever having him in as coach. They made him look like a pedophile to people he'd been associating with for years. Edit. Lots of visibility now and replies are getting pretty harsh on the Christian so I should point out that you don't know me and I don't know them. You're getting second-hand info from a stranger and it is possible the implication was unintended. They probably couldn't say they were dismissing him because he was Mormon and they missed the implication of not giving a reason. He wasn't as angry as I was, so I take my cues from him on this. This is why I want nothing to do with organized group religions. They are just oversized cliques in my observation. I wish it was less cringy to be non-religious in my country. Run everywhere like you do in video games, rather than walking, I'd get so much more done in a day, curse those societal norms. I actually do this a fair bit and people just assume I'm in a massive hurry. A couple years ago, I didn't give a shit, it was finals week and I was late to my exam and I was running as fast as I could. Funny part is another girl was running just as fast in the opposite direction and when she passed me she said same edit, what the duck you guys this isn't that funny. I really like cloaks, but I don't think the world is ready for that. When I was in college about 10 years ago, cloaks were a thing at my school. There was a girl who wore one who everyone just knew as Cape Girl, and a bunch of people followed her lead. Not the whole campus or anything, but enough people that you were never really surprised to see someone in a cloak walking around the place. Edit. Cape Girl seems to be a common character on campuses. I went to Carnegie Mellon but it looks like my experience wasn't entirely unique. My high school had a cape girl, we also called her cape girl, it did not become a thing. Everyone thought she was weird and avoided talking to her if possible. I wonder how your cape girl pulled it off, edit, oh my god guys I get it, she pulled it off over her head, you are all the worst. I'd wear heelys, edit, wow, all the support here finally convinced me, I've seriously been looking at heelys online for years and just was too afraid of the judgement, but thanks, y'all, I won't judge you for wearing heelys, I judge him, as a pretty ducking cool guy, have a damn slumber party with my friends, like full on kid style, eat crappy food, watch scary movies, play games, play video games, Sneak out of the house for an adventure in the neighborhood at night. Laugh over stupid shit. Stay up way too late. Have those deep slumber party conversations. And then we could all go to sleep in the living room. But it'd be even better now because alcohol. Do people really not do this? I just did last weekend. And have my whole adult. And even married. Life. I'm actually working on planning it now. Merrily skip instead of walk. Imagine a banker merrily skipping to work in his three-piece suit. Stern look on his face. Face slightly red from exertion. A single bead of sweat breaks out on his forehead. Eyes staring dead ahead. A skip of determination. Of power. Wear goggles in a swimming pool. Apparently now that I'm a grown woman. I'm only supposed to sit in a swimming pool. And not chase after diving toys. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Don't be ridiculous. You're supposed to go into the pool just long enough to get wet, then get out and tan, like a proper lady. It is my duty as a woman to ensure that my flesh prison remains well cooked by the death or bed it. Givers of the silver and gold, you have my gratitude. Your gift shall make a worthy sacrifice to the death orb. Reading these makes me wish everyone would do these things anyways. 
Reading these honestly makes me sad that people aren't doing what they want in their own lives. Social anxiety is real, and it needs to be ducking killed. Edit. To clear something up to anyone reading this, please do whatever you want. Please. Duck society. And duck other people who may find it cringy or weird. You only get one life. Don't waste it doing what other people expect you to do. I enjoy doing stupid shit as an adult like jumping over white yellow lines in parking lots like it's lava. Walking on low walls and those parking lot stops. Every time I go shopping alone I do this and get weird stares. Who cares though? Duck them. They aren't having fun. Edit. Holy crap. I didn't expect this to resonate with as many people as it did. If you are reading this you have one job to do. While you are walking to your car, the bus, or taxi tomorrow morning please spend 15 seconds goofing around and smiling. You owe it to yourself. Just keep your arms perfectly straight and behind your back while doing it. They will all be impressed. That reminds me of the video I saw a while back where someone had painted hopscotch on the sidewalk of a busy city. Plenty of people ignored it, but there were a surprising number of adults who all went ahead and did the hopscotch as they passed. It was pretty great. I'm just posting here as a reminder to everyone in this thread that thinks whatever they want to do is too cringe why all will get stares from strangers. Most people will only live around 4. 000 weeks. When I look at that number, life seems even shorter than it had already seemed. Personally, I have roughly 2. 0, 7, 6 weeks left. So do that thing you want to do and don't end the week regretting anything. Oh god why did you tell me third ted it? Damn. My first gold. Thanks stranger. That is. Somehow a much smaller number than I would have imagined. I am at 1 611 weeks. So I really have no excuse. I would drape myself in velvet if it were socially accepted. As a male in the USA I'm really close to getting a bag to carry my things. Like a purse but god forbid I call it that. I want to liberate my pockets. Edit. This got so big and there is so much inspiration I went ahead and ordered a satchel from Nutsack. Looks like it's going to be a wonderful bag that suits my needs. Thank you everyone who replied with all the kind words and support. Messenger bag. I carry one often and it's ridiculously convenient. To be fair I use it to carry a canteen full of gin. And my cigarette rolling supplies. But the principle is the same. It's convenient damn it. Messenger bags are basically this generation's briefcase. I'm reading this thread and realizing that I am either extremely confident, or totally lacking shame. Why not both? Play tag as an adult. Tag is so fun. See. Me but with hide and seek. I play hide and seek with friends a couple of times a year. We're all going away together soon so there will definitely be a couple of games. I'm 35. Live in a van down by the river and only work as much as I need to buy gas and food. Edit. Since I'm getting a ton of responses. I don't really mean it. I love cooking and good 24 7 wifi too much lol. You'll have plenty of time for living in a van down by the river. When you're living in a van down by the river. What do you want to do when you grow up? Have sappy conversations with people. I have to let myself feel emotions I'm having cause if I don't I bottle it up. So having an emotional breakdown with someone would be nice edit. I love you guys. I didn't expect other people to feel the same way. If any of you wanna have emotional breakdowns without me feel free to send me a chat invite anytime. Or we can talk through discord or anything else that would be great. I'm super excited to meet you guys and make some friends. BTW I'm in Missouri USM 15. I'm sure many people in this thread would love to talk to you. Thank you for the words of encouragement my friend. Compliment more people. There's this unfortunate thing that happens where if I pay someone a compliment, they think I'm hitting on them. Like, nap, lady, I like your dress, not you. Edit holy shit. So many replies. I feel like I inadvertently misled folks. I rarely have a problem when it comes to compliments. I compliment my co-workers all the time. I often compliment strangers. Gender doesn't matter. Usually, I say it in passing. I've only had a couple of folks assume I was interested and respond poorly. The biggest problem is actually a weird one. I sometimes get people who think I'm interested and then feel mislead when it honestly was just a compliment. 
I love when guys compliment my clothes. It's so much more thoughtful than just complimenting someone's general appearance. My favorite compliment I've ever gotten was from a guy friend in the 10th grade who looked at me and said your dress has dots on it and walked away. We still laugh about it to this day. One rule I try to live by is complimenting things people choose. Clothes jewelry are a great example. Or taking about how they styled their hair as opposed to their hair itself. Or how their makeup shirt color slash whatever makes their eyes pop instead of just that their eyes look good. Then as you get to know a person you can tell them how you admire different parts of their personality. Which I see as being things they foster in themselves so more or less a choice. As a woman. I definitely value compliments that follow this rule more than the generics is looks nice plus they tend to feel more thoughtful and personal. I just want to be more affectionate. Rub my friend's shoulder or back or whatever but I guess I'm afraid. Wish I was like my Mexican friend. He just does it. Do it. I remember drinking around a fire when I was in my teens and my friend just kissed the side of my head. Weirded me out then. But I've learned that is how he showed he truly cared about friends. There was no underlying hidden message or anything. I pat my friends on the head and ruffle their hair like I do with my son. They're the same age as me. 30. My son and his best friend hug all the time when they separate. At school. Sleepovers. Seeing them at the store. Go ahead and rub their shoulder or back as you walk by. That's one of my favorite parts about being a woman. You can touch your friends in a platonic way and no one gets weirded out by it or calls you gay. I think it's getting more common for guys to do it and not get judged which makes me very happy. I'm on team friendship touches. Yep. Carry my chinchilla around with me in one of those small animal backpack carriers. He gets bored in his cage while I'm out and about. I wouldn't take him any place loud or dangerous. Don't let your dreams be dreams my dude. I have a custom made carry bag for my spoilt little ferret. And although I've heard a very occasional EWW or Ergotzerat, I've had many many more instances of folks stopping to pet and cuddle him and take photos. It's a fun way to teach your small animals to socialize and keep them from being bored. And you're sure to make a few friends along the way. Open bracket. My ferret is buddies with two enormous biker guys and their two enormous huskers. Wear old style dresses. Like Lolita but a little less frilly. I love the classic style clothes you see in movies like the sound or music. Edit. I meant the sound of music. Oops. Lolitas usually have city regional meetup groups since it's less scary if there's a bunch of you. My wife also wears it out on dates which is nice cause I think it's super duper pretty. Now I know what you mean. But the mental image is something. Just a bunch of Victorian people. All huddled together like a herd of zebras. A car engine backfires and they all scatter. But instead of running they're shuffling. My friend used to blast the imperial march as we would drive around. We got a lot of looks. He didn't stop. This sounds awesome. Doing this on my drive home from work. Run without it being explicitly a part of a workout routine or sporting event. Sometimes it's a nice day. I feel good. And want to run to wherever I'm going to get there faster. People will probably just think you're late for something. But it's not that cringy. I think. You should just do it. Unless it involves giant pit stains at work. Then maybe not. I run into the grocery all the time. And I'm in my 50s. Why? Because I park where there are spots. I don't hunt. That is usually far back in the parking lot and it takes too long to get into the store just walking. I'm just impatient. Wear old fashioned clothes. For example. Clothes from the 40s or the Victorian era. I love winter because it's nothing but flannel suits for me. My closet looks like a 1940s banker's. You can add vintage flair to your wardrobe without going all out. Some high-waisted trousers and a red lip go a long way. Lots of lovely vintage YouTubers with tips and tricks on how to work modern and vintage fashion together. Rachel Maxi has a couple videos dedicated to making modern things look more vintage and the closet historian also has some videos about transitioning into vintage style more gradually. As part of my therapy for trauma during my teens, I've been doing all the stuff I never got to do when I was younger. People don't really pay as much attention to you as you think they do or judge you like you think they will. 
I wore light up sneakers to the club and got a bunch of compliments on them and dancing in sneakers is way more fun than dancing in uncomfortable heels. Anytime I bring juice boxes to work my co-workers all want some. When I worked at McDonald's in college, we would all take the Happy Meal toys home whenever we got new ones. Do what will make you happy. Life is too short to be wishing you were doing something else. Edit. Holy cow. Thanks for the silver and gold even though I didn't really answer the question lol edit 2. Just got back from dropping the kiddos off at school and now there's a platinum 2. I didn't even know that was a thing on here lol. Everyone should have their own entry music like in the WWE. Everyone would look forward to going to work meetings or seasonal family dinners if we can get pumped up as we arrive. Drunk uncle from quality control would be welcomed now. As their music randomly hits out of nowhere and everyone cheers booze. Mandatory corporate drug awareness training would be way cooler if master of puppets starts playing. Everyone is rocking out. Then suddenly fireworks everywhere and the trainer steps into the room arms aloft and walk to the front. Dude I'm a delivery guy and the thought of my music playing every time I show up at a customer's door makes me smile so much. Oh. Here's the house. Hit my music. Dead man walking. Be the office goth I was destined to be. Actually I'd probably do that anyway if the dress code wasn't so strict where I work. Richmond's out of his room. Why is Richmond out of his room? Walk my cat on a leash. My neighbor used to walk her rat on a leash. Just imagine having to pull back your cat saying no as it tried to go for the rat. My cat, Frederick, loves being walked on a leash. I guess being restrained like that just turns him on. His leash goes really well with his bondage gear though. Edit. Since this is getting a lot of attention, I'd like to also share some of the adventures Frederick and I get up to my cat's name is Frederick. However I prefer to call him Fredden because of his huge kitty dong. One time when I was walking him on his leash in the kitty park, he tried to hump another cat. I guess leashes turn him on. The poor other little kitty started wailing and crying. Good Fredden. I bet you showed him how a good kitty dong feels. Another time. I took him to the beach. He loves watching people play in the sand. He especially loves jumping up to people's sandcastles. And whipping out his kitty dong all over them. Those sandcastles are much better looking once Fredden frosts them in kitty cum. Good Fredden. There was a lovely moment when I took him to watch a film at the cinema. He ran right up to the front by the screen and started doing a little dance. Fredden loves showing the other people in the cinema his massive kitty dong. And they all loved it too. Fredden sprayed out his kitty cum over everybody there. And he even got a round of applause when he was done. Good Fredden. Probably walk around with my cat in one of those baby carriers that is kinda like a backpack. But in front. Honestly I would bring my cat places like people do with dogs. The main reason I don't is because I know plenty of dogs that would scare the shit out of my cat. But my cat loves going outside on our balcony. I would wear a cape or cloak pretty much everywhere. There it is. I'm sad I had to scroll this far to find my people. Probably one of the most uncool people on earth. And yet. Boom. A couple of weeks ago I stopped in Walmart after I got off work at like midnight. Go over to the electronics section and while I'm browsing I hear someone say hey. I look over and this girl says wanna see something cool? I walk over. And she holds up one of those little hamster balls. And it has a hedgehog sleeping in it. She brought a hedgehog to Walmart. That sounds cringy. But it made me so happy to see that. More people should carry small pets like that. If they're responsible. Of course. Edit. While this blew up. Thank you for my first silver. Stranger. A couple of weeks ago I stopped in Walmart after I got off work at like midnight. Any story that starts off like this is going to be good. I love going to Walmart in the middle of the night. No one who goes to Walmart in the middle of the night cares if you're being ridiculous. I can sing along to the radio and dance down the aisles without a care. Express myself. Be careful with that. I heard about a guy that did that with his full capabilities and now he's living in correctional facilities. Some don't agree with how I do this. Society can kiss my ass. I follow the SpongeBob SquarePants approach to life. If I'm enjoying it and it's not hurting anyone. I don't care what other people think it's cringy or not. I'm going to have fun. Edit. Whoa. Thank you for the gold and silver. Sing more often. 
When a jamming song comes on I'd like to be able to dance a little in public. Dance to the beat of my own song haha. <laughs> Once, me and my GF went out to play laser tag. We finished the round and there was a young boy there. Couldn't have been older than 6. My GF and everyone else had already walked away to turn their gear in. And I got stuck walking behind him. He gets out of the laser tag area and wants to play another round. So he tries to get his card out of his pocket. Open bracket. An arcade card. Not debit card. But is struggling so he asks me for help. I look around and I don't see anyone. At all. I don't help him. All I could think in my head was I can't touch this kid. What if his mother walks in and sees me fiddling with his pockets? I don't think I should have to say this. But I am not a pedo. But I am very helpful to strangers. So I'm having this internal conflict. Luckily he managed to get his card out of his pocket and walked off. I've never spoken about this. I didn't tell my now ex about it. I wanted to help that boy. But I couldn't stop thinking about the numerous possible negative consequences that could have happened. Edit. I really didn't expect this to get so many upvotes. So I want to say a few things. 1. I don't have any kids of my own. I don't know if that makes this whole thing weirder. 2. This whole interaction couldn't have lasted more than 30 seconds. But that 30 seconds almost put me into a panic attack. I've never had a panic attack before. I, an adult male, helped a kid take a carabiner off of his climbing harness at the local climbing gym. It was attached to an auto belay device and he was struggling with it, not wanting the rope to jerk up and hit him in the face, and for the staff to have the climb up and retrieve the hook. I decided to help. Didn't realize how bad that looked until his mom came around the corner staring at me like I was the devil. Luckily she realized what was happening right away and thanked me but that initial look was horrifying. Karaoke emotional songs that make me cry. Play on my Nintendo Switch without people looking at me like I'm some weirdo. I had a thing about playing my Nintendo handhelds in public as an adult. One day my fiance told me don't be. You're an adult. You have a job. And this is how you choose to unwind. Don't let anyone take that from you. So now I play my 3DS damn near anywhere I can. Nobody cares. In fact. It sometimes ends up being a conversation starter. I've made some new friends at work because of it. Edit. Words. You're right. You reminded me of a quote I once heard people who matter. Don't mind. And people who mind. Don't matter. Reading through these comments. Most of the things people want to do are not half bad. Maybe we should stop giving a shit what people think of us and do things that make us happy. Climb trees. I'm 23 as an adult suddenly it's frowned upon for some weird reason. I'm a big fella. And I've always wanted to cosplay somebody like Jason Voorhees, Darth Vader, or Michael Myers. You mean when you're taking care of your day to day errands and stuff? That's the only way I see it being cringy. Don't wear a bra in public. Go for a walk with my dogs in pajamas in the city. Go to the pool without shaving my legs. Especially in winter. Cry onto strangers shoulders until they reassure me I'm a good person. Guys. If we do everything in this thread at the same time as like a march. It will become normal and we no longer have to find it cringy. Or something. Less a go. Whoa. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.